Hey guys, back with a quick update. I did a water change on Monstro's tank. About 35, 40-ish percent. And I had some other plants in there with this log because I hadn't found the cave yet. Um, but I did find this at Walmart. She hasn't gone in it. I also found out that Monstro is a girl due to the round body and oh, right when I wanted to look at it. They were talking about an egg tube that comes up and kind of protrudes and I believe that's it. So, she's been really been, uh, sorry, she's really been doing good. Um, I feel like she liked having some decorations back, even though she won't use her cave. And I did have a different bubbler in there. It was putting out smaller, finer bubbles, and I don't think Monstro liked that. So we switched that back out. Water went through a mini cycle, but it is back on track with her in it, so I felt it was time to do a water change. Ammonia was zero, nitrites were zero, and nitrates were 30, edging on 40. So, and I did want to rearrange. So I took advantage and I did that. I also did a water change on the other tank. Had to switch out that plant. You can see it in the background. That turquoise one was getting speckled with maybe snail poop. But it looked really grody and I took it out, I tried to rinse it in some tank water, but it was not coming off. So I just tossed it. And that's a silk plant. So these are all my first runs with silk plants. I think that one I had gotten by itself from Petco. And then the purple, this purple spotted, and the green one came as a pack. And she does still sometimes go by that air tube, so I just put a little plant right there. But otherwise, she's looking real good. I think I can stop worrying. So yeah, just a quick monstro update. Let you know he's a she and that she is doing great. And I'm even thinking about getting her a friend. I don't know anything about males and females, although I did start to wonder if maybe she was egg bound. But then I was watching this veteran, veterinarian aquatic veterinarian sorry um, talking about how a lot of these fish diagnosis diagnoses <laughs> I can't talk tonight it's late I'm ready for bed I just did two big water changes anyway she says these diagnoses are not real and sometimes it's perfectly normal that if a female goldfish feels like there's no need or it's not safe enough to drop the eggs, they won't do it. I kind of took that to mean like you don't need to hand massage them because I was all ready to do that. I was going to try it, but she is doing better on her own. I didn't have to squeeze her. Um, I don't know if they'll eat the eggs or... What? Or if I should just get her another girl, gal pal. So if you have any suggestions on a tank mate, that would be great. You can drop it in the comments below. I feel like this tank is big enough for just two to live comfortably. It's a 38 gallon. <clears throat> and 
the friend can live in the quarantine tank for two weeks before they meet. Mm. All that good stuff. I can't wait to start looking at fish. I can't wait. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Stay safe.